to the bucket up and he Over the big man. Yeah. Ryan Rowan. Welcome to Shelby Valley High School for basketball action. It'll be Shelby Valley and Belfry playing here tonight. It should be an interesting matchup. Shelby Valley coming in, we know, been struggling with height. And, man, they're getting ready to get a good taste of it here from Belfry as their center is uh, listed as 7'3", Bo Cure. You're right. Uh, and both these teams, Charlie, started the season with four wins, and both of them dropped their last two. Of course, Chevy Valley's last two dropped at Pikeville, uh, 41 to 40 in the uh, championship game of the IOA Classic. Then Pikeville come to Chevy Valley Tuesday night and uh, went away with a 73-57 win. Uh, on the other hand, Belfry has lost to uh, Boyd County at home by four points, 60-56, and then they traveled uh, to Sayer and played Damble and. Uh, was handed a 22-point loss, 79 to 57. So both teams looking to get back on the winning side well, here tonight. One of them's going to break that losing streak tonight. There's no question about exactly. that. Exactly. It's going to be an interesting here. Of course, you know, Bo Cure, he's kind of an interesting uh, thing of coming to Belfry from South Sudan, a member of the Dinka tribe. Said he's that's the tallest people in the world. Well. Uh, that, that's probably a good saying because he's the tallest person in Pike County right now. Hey, you're right there. There's no question about that. <clears throat> Definitely the tallest one here, and we've been watching him warm up. Uh, got a good-looking shot, and uh, with, shoots with his arms extended and got some bounce in it, so it'd be hard to block his shots. You know, of course, he's not very big. He's, if he's 7'3", he might weigh 185 pounds. Yeah. You know, he's kind of slim, so... Uh, might be able to uh, block him out. Of course, you know, if you block somebody out and they're that tall, they can still go up over top of you. Yeah, that's right. You know, and of course, now they've got a really good point guard down there in Saldine. We saw him play last year. You know, he got some quickness to get up and down the floor. That'll be a little bit of a matchup to see between him and Ken Works. Well, he's their leading scorer, Saldine. He comes in averaging 60, uh, 16 points a game. Then uh, uh, Tyler Chaffin's averaging 14 point, five points a game. And then you got uh, Bo Cure and He's, he's averaging a double-double, 13.8 points and 13.2 rebounds a game. On the other hand, uh, Shelby Valley's got two players in double figures, uh, average. Uh, Kean Warwick, 17 and a half, and uh, Kean Robinson, 17. And those are your two uh, three-point shooters. Uh, Robinson's hit uh, 16 three-pointers this year, 14 for Warwick, and 12 for Chaz Brown. And that's an that's a added... Uh, feature to Warwick's game, you know, until this year, he never did really shoot the three-pointer that much, but he's, uh, he's he shot pretty well from the three-point line this year. Yeah, I think it'll be good to see these two teams go at it, because, you know, like I say, that, that uh, two-point guard mar matchup ought to be pretty good. And I want to see the, uh, Anthony Plata. We talk about him, how, how much motor he's got, nerve. He's going to have to show it tonight, because he can be matched up against he's 5'11", stretching it, maybe six foot. Maybe six foot, going you're up right. It's a seven foot three center. Well, you know, and, and uh, uh, like I said, he, he's, uh, we call him the Energizer Bunny, but, uh, you know, he's averaging seven and a half rebounds a game for uh, Chevy Valley. He's got 45 rebounds in six games, so, you know, I'm sure that he's uh, looking forward to the challenge himself because the young man, we've seen him on the football field now, the basketball court, and he, and he don't back down from anything. Oh, he's not going back down. You're right. Of course, you know, they got Zach Johnson out there. Chaz Brown, Russ Osborne. We got a lot of shooters out there for Shelby Valley, and if they get off from the outside, they're going they're gonna to try to pull this Belfry team out from uh, out of out of the paint. Well, that's their key, you know. Just like I said, they don't have much of an inside game. They try to spread the floor, drive the bucket, 
And a lot of times they'll drive and kick out, but their main offensive weapon is the three-point shot. And, you know, like I said, they've got three or four that can hit it from out there. The Warwick's and Robinson, we mentioned them, get hot one night yep. down in the IOA tournament and have four three-pointers. Chaz Brown had four in one quarter down there. Uh, so, and uh, Russ Osborne, uh, he comes in off the bench. He's a three-point shooter, too. So that that's their uh, main offensive weapon is the three-point shot. Of course, talked to Coach Rowe before the game. And uh, just like the old saying is, you know, you either live or die by the three-point shot. All right, it looks like time for us to take a break. We'll be back in just a few moments on the Intermountain Sports Network. I'm Attorney John Earl Hunt. I believe in the U.S. Constitution, and I support the American flag. I'm a country lawyer. I'd be honored to represent you in your case. I'll treat you right. I'll do the best I can to help you. A satellite signal comes from outer space. The satellite office across the country. And their call center? Hmm, we'd better not even go there. So if you want to do business in your hometown with people you know and trust, call cable. Gearheart Broadband is locally owned and operated. Our number one concern is giving you, your neighbors, and your community friendly, local customer support. Get everything you want. Go local. Go Gearheart Broadband. Overhead Door, a garage door company that has been with your family from the beginning. Through all the ups and downs of life. From the small repairs to making your vision a reality. Overhead Door, your trusted garage door expert since 1921. Be sure you're getting the genuine, the original overhead door service. More than ever, we're all living online right now. It's one more reason using online account management from Gearheart Communications just makes sense. Visit ecare.gearheart.com to sign up so you can pay your bill, review your statements, or set up worry-free automatic payments, all without leaving your home. Make life a little easier. Online account management from Gearheart Broadband. Sign up today at ecare.gearheart.com. Are you tired of the same old cell phone? Want a brand new phone but really don't want to pay hundreds of dollars up front for it? Then Appalachian Wireless has the deal for you. Get the phone you actually want instead of settling for a cheaper phone with the Appalachian Advantage plan. Instead of paying $400 or more for the best phone, simply pay the taxes up front and a few bucks more on your monthly bill. Stop by your local Appalachian Wireless store or dealer today for more information. It's the better, simpler way to pay. And it's called the Appalachian Advantage. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. When you add up all the Wi-Fi connected devices in your home these days, you'll be surprised how many there are and how much bandwidth they're using. Do the math. It just may add up to needing faster internet and Wi-Fi. Good thing Gearheart Broadband has reliable download speeds up to one gig and Plume Adaptive Home Wi-Fi to keep all your devices well connected. If you're ready for an upgrade, call or visit Gearheart Broadband online for a great offer. We live in a modern, connected world. Your smart home security system should keep pace with your on-the-go life, giving you a view of your home and the ability to control what happens at your front door as if you were there. The best deterrent, peace of mind, at home or away. Protect what's important to you. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. Tonight between Shelby Valley and Belfry boys, and what time we've got a little uh, few minutes before the starting lineups. I'd like to let everyone know the fine folks that make this possible for us here tonight. All right, Community Trust Bank, Bruce Walters Ford Kia, Attorney John Earl Hunt, Overhead Door of Eastern Kentucky, Big Sandy React, Gearheart Security. Appalachian Wireless, Hutch Chevrolet, Intermountain Cable, and Coalfields Telephone. Yeah, and we always appreciate those fine folks allowing us to be here to get this, make this happen. And should be a good matchup here tonight. It's all going to depend on who can set the pace. If Chevy Valley can get them up and down the floor and shoot the, shoot the three, they'll be in good shape. Of course, you can also listen to us tonight on WXLR 104.9 Radio, the X, and you can also watch us on 
the WPRG.TV Facebook page and on our YouTube channel as well. So it should be, again, you got a lot of ways to watch the game tonight and listen. And it uh, should be a really good matchup. I'm, I'm curious to see, you know, a couple of things. You know, obviously the big guy in the middle, see what Pallotta can do with him. And also the, the dual out pump between Saldin and, and Kean Warwick's. Well, you know, that's, uh, they're two very good guards. And, uh, of course, we know how Oryx is. You know, he's one of the toughest and those kids they are in the region. And uh, he, he'd be up to the challenge. Of course, Sal Dean's the same way. So, And another thing Shelby Valley might try to do tonight, Charlie, is uh, get a little fast break going and uh, see if they can uh, outrun the big man yes. up the floor and get in their offensive set before he can get up and set up on defense. I think you're exactly right. They're going to get up and down the floor. And should be about ready for this one to uh, get the starting lineups here. Larry, you'll bring those to us here just as soon as they bring them to us. And both teams back on their bench now. Of course, uh, two veteran coaches out there uh, on this game out here. Mark Thompson for Belfry and uh, Rodney Rowe for Chevy Valley. Rodney back on the bench first time in a couple years. And we're about ready for the starting lineups. First, B. Belfry. At guard, number zero, Sal Dean. At guard, number 11, Tyler Chapin. And at guard, number two, DeMaj Clark. And number 10 at forward, Caleb Spears. And number at center, number 34, Bo Cure. That's a high five when he comes out on the floor now. <laughs> if if, if he, if he extends it out for a, a high five, he's, his buddy's going to have to jump to get up That's there. That's exactly right. Caden Robinson. And Zach Johnson, that's number 14 for Shelby Valley. Number three, Kean Warwicks. And at guard number one, Chaz Brown. And number zero, Anthony Pilata. And that forward, number 15, Caden Robinson. And as Charlie said, coached by Rodney Rowe. And we're ready to get this one underway. Both teams coming out to midcourt after the coin toss. Yes, after the coin toss. They all looked, they all walked out to midcourt like they're going to jump ball. I said, well, we ain't seen that in a while. Well, the officials, <laughs> it's new for them too yeah. still yet. So Looks like Shelby, Shelby Valley won it, so they'll start with the basketball. So it'll be Shelby Valley basketball in the front court with it. And we're underway, Key and Warwick's looking. Looks like uh, a zone out there by Belfry. Looks like a 2-3. I, I think it's a 1-3-1 one, one, one maybe. And okay. uh, they if it goes down the corner, they drop uh, back like a 2-3. Three. three by Robinson. Good. That's a good sign for Shelby Valley right there. And they take the early 3-0 lead here on the first drive. Clark into the front court with it. And let's see if they'll try to work it down inside. Cross court, Clark on the drive. Three on its way is good out there by Tyler Chapin. Tyler Chapin, he's their leading scorer. Tied at three. Back the other way. The Shelby Valley working it around the outside of that zone. And Brown now brings it up top. Caden Robinson thought about another one there, didn't get it off. Well, he thought about it. He thought about it, then yeah. He, then he's seen Cure coming yeah. over. That's a big closeout on you, isn't it? Yeah, and he thought he might ought to pass it. Brown out there has his pocket pick back the other way and is that Kean Warwick's with the block? It was. Put back up and in by number 
10, that is Ch Caleb Spears. 5-3 now, Belfry with the first lead of the night. Looks like a 2-3 zone. They're just bringing Cure up high. Of course, he can cover a lot of ground. Yes. Out front. I wonder what his wingspan is. I don't know. It's big. And Shelby Valley working it around the horn. And going to get a walk on Kean Works. And that's two turnovers for Shelby Valley already. Probably a little intimidation coming out of that down there. And it'll be deal by Key and Warwick, so we're going to get a foul, I believe. And it'll be on 34. Cure. Yeah. Bo Cure. His first team's first. You may see Key and Warwick take it at him and see if he can get him in foul trouble. Yes. In the corner. Thought he was going to take another shot. They'll work it back out front. Shelby Valley worked around there. Brown for three, in and out, and Cure with the rebound. Sal Dean brings it into the front court. Dean up top, 2 3 zone by Shelby Valley this trip down. And they got Zach Johnson in on top of Cure right now. Yep, and Zach Johnson comes away with the rebound on the missed shot. A little fast break action. There's a three by Key and Warwick. It's no good. Rebound comes off to Belfry. And yeah, they're going to try to get it up the floor. Clark shot up and a blocking foul on Key and Warwick's. And that's going to be the first one on Shelby Valley. First team foul. And that's going to send. Who is that Clark? Yeah, yeah. Maje Clark. Have two shots. And the first one's good. Checking in now is number 44, Zachary Savage. 5-13, first quarter, 6-3. Belfry over Shelby Valley right now. Clark's second free throw is good. 7-3, Shelby, Shelby Valley trailing Belfry right now with the basketball. 2-3 zone, they're extending it out there like Pikeville did the other night. And it'll be... Shelby Valley working around. Chaz Brown tries a cross-court pass. Robinson goes in, gets the loose ball, and they'll throw it outside. Three on its way is in and out by Zach Johnson. Dean brings it up the floor. Takes it in the lane, kicks it over into the corner. Chafing. No good, and rebound Zach Johnson inside. Boy, he's digging them out. He, they yep. got two rebounds. He's got both of them. And they throw it away, pick, stolen away by Zach Savage. Yeah, good anticipation. Saldine and one. And maybe Zach Johnson. And Zach Johnson is sure you saw him. Yes. That's his first team second. And that free throw line, Saldine. We are also now live on Channel 5 and 105 HD. And here comes Key and Warwick's back the other way. Top of the key. Working it around. Good defense out there by now. It looks like they've switched. Is that a, a, I don't know if they go switch out of a 2 3 to a 1 3 1 or well, not. I, I think it's actually a 1-3-1, but if the ball goes down the corner, they switch down to it looks like a 2-3 where they drop down, Charlie. And they're spread, pushing Shelby Valley out on the floor quite a bit. There's a three, Key and Warwick's no good. Rebound comes off in there to Chafin, and here comes Belfry back the other way. Got a foul away from the ball. Yeah, I think that's going to go on. That's going to go on Warwick's, and that's his second, team's third. Again, we'd like to let everyone know that if you're watching us on YouTube or Facebook, to like, share, and give us a comment. Fight inside, and Kean Warks gets fouled after he comes out of there with it, and that should be on Clark, I believe. That's going to be on Clark. That's his first team's second. Three thirty-four left, first quarter, nine-three. 
Belfry over Chevy Valley. Bel uh, Chevy Valley had the three-pointer by Caden Robinson open the game, and that's been it for him. Into the front court now comes Forks. That's a 2-3 right there, Larry. They just keep switching Joe's defenses, I'm pretty sure. Don't yes. You? Three out there by Johnson is no good. Rebound comes off inside to Chapin. Belfry controlling the boards here. They are right now six to three. Out top, Saldine spins. Gets it back. Nice drive. Oh, nice pass yeah. off Chapin for two. But give a beautiful assist there to Demasier Clark. Boy, how do you get through that defense? I don't know. Kean Warks gives it over. Shelby Valley only one field goal there. Yes. That was the three by Caden Robinson. Open the ball game, first score of the game. So it's a 11-0 run now for Belfry bringing it down. Caden Robinson out to the corner for another three. This one is no good, and rebound comes off to Chafin. And good hustle in there by Caden Robinson. He's standing on the baseline. Yeah, he's trying to steal it, but we're stepping out of bounds. Bo Kier's not in there right now. Looked like Shelby Valley might work on the inside, but they're still just passing around that outside on the three-point line. Into the front court now, Belfry. Two-three zone by Shelby Valley. Three, Chafin, and it's good. Boy, I tell you, he's filling it up. He That's come in as their leading scorer. Got eight already. Smooth-looking shot. Caden Robinson drives, kicks it into the corner. Three, Brown. Brown. Good. That'll get them back in the game pretty quick. They knock a couple of those yep. down. You know, they need to see something go through the basket right now. Yes. There's a drive by Sal Dean off the back of the rim. No good. Gets his own rebound. Passes it inside. Shot up and good. Uh, let's see. I think that's going to be Spears. Nope. Caleb Spears. Yep. So 16-6. 10-point six, lead now for Belfry. And, man, they just keep extending that zone out way past the three-point line. They do. So they know that Shelby Valley's going to shoot the three. Boy, it's a nice pass if he can complete it, and he does. And that's what they got to do if they're going to bring that zone out. They need somebody just inside that three, uh, that uh, free throw line in the middle to uh, should be open. Caleb Lovins checking into the ball game now for Shelby Valley. That foul was on Chafin, so that's his first team's third. And Shelby Valley on the drive inside. Nice move into there by Robinson. Fifth, eight, 16 to 8 now with 104 to play. Here in the first quarter, rebound comes off in there to Pilata, and Clark nearly steals it away, but it'll go out of bounds off of him. And it'll be Shelby Valley getting ready to bring it up the floor. Out top. And they really extended the zone. That time came out all the way to midcourt with it. They did. It look, looked like a trap, actually. Yep. Kicking it inside. They go inside. Nice pass. Lovins, too. Give the assist to Chaz Brown. And that's what they got to do when Cure's not in there. You're right. 16-10, looks like Belfry going to play for one here. Dean out front just dribbling away. Down to 20 seconds left in the first quarter. Dean now puts it in play. A lot of you are looking in from Kodak, Tennessee. Chapin has it tipped. Saldin shot it in and good, and that's the end of the first quarter. 18-10, Belfry, this is Intermountain Sports Network. Would you rather pay $650 or $66 for a smartphone? Simple, with the Appalachian Advantage plan. Pay less up front, and then just a few dollars more every month. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. 
When you add up all the Wi-Fi connected devices in your home these days, you'll be surprised how many there are and how much bandwidth they're using. Do the math. It just may add up to needing faster internet and Wi-Fi. Good thing Gearheart Broadband has reliable download speeds up to one gig and Plume Adaptive Home Wi-Fi to keep all your devices well connected. If you're ready for an upgrade, call or visit Gearheart Broadband online for a great offer. I'm Attorney John Earl Hunt. I believe in the U.S. Constitution and I support the American flag. I'm a country lawyer. I'd be honored to represent you in your case. I'll treat you right. I'll do the best I can to help you. Quarter action, 18-10. Belfry with the eight-point lead, and they'll have the basketball starting the quarter, Charlie. And they'll bring it into the front court with uh, Clark. 2-3 zone again by Shelby Valley. Cure back in the ball game now. And we'll get a walk over there on Chapin. And that's the second turnover, Belfry. Shelby Valley with three. So Shelby Valley will bring it up the floor, trying to cut into that eight-point lead of the Pirates. And driving the ball down in the lane. Kean Warks gets it into the corner three on its way. No. And Cure just Cure reaches with, yeah. over everybody. Yep. There's a drive by Clark, no good. Rebound put back up and in by Saldine. And Belfry is dominating the boards right now, Charlie, 10-3, and it's, it's not all cure. No, you're right. There's a pretty good pick out there by Lovins. It was. And they'll throw it out top again to Kean Warks. Cure just patrolling the middle, three up, no good. Rebound in there, Caden Robinson. He takes it in at his cure, he blocks it. With his elbow. With his elbow. <laughs> and there's gonna be a foul on Lovins as Sal Dean was going to the free throw, or going to the basket. He'll go to the free throw line now. And that's Lovins' first team to fourth. So two shots for it. Sal Dean. Dean's got six so far. <clears throat> Misses the first one. He's 0-2 from the line. He missed an uh, and one attempt in the first quarter. Got one more coming this way. And second one's good. Makes it 21-10. Belfry with the lead. And full court pressure now by Belfry. That ball might have been tipped, and Belfry our defense has been really good. Our Sal Dean with the steal. Chaz Brown steals it right back. He'll get it up to Robinson. Robinson will put it on the floor, takes it to the rack, lays it in. Cade Robinson with seven now. They go inside, and they throw it too, <laughs> throw, throw it too tall for a uh, cure. And that's saying a lot. <laughs> We've got Kean Warwick's nanny and pap watching from Pigeons Forge, Tennessee. They're, every time we're here, they're they right watch there it. watching. We appreciate, appreciate that. It. Yes, we do. Warwick's on the drive now, kicks it back out. Old buddy Dale Kahn watching from home. It'll be Belfry Ball, turnover. And that's five now for Chevy Valley. 5.59 to play here in this first half, 21-12. Belfry by nine. 2-3 zone again by Shelby Valley. Yep. And there's a shot from the elbow, good. And again, that was Mac McNamee. McNamee. Ben McNamee into the game, that's his first bucket. Here's Steele. Okay. Come back the other way. Shot up, no good. Rebound, fought four, and it'll be, should be. Ooh, I think he missed that one. I think that that went off Saldine, don't you? 
Well, something went off his head, <laughs> but I think the way he's holding it looked like it might have been an elbow. Well, maybe, maybe. <laughs> And they'll throw it in. Trying to go inside. Oh, nice job in there by uh, Osborne to knock that one out of bounds off the Belfry team. It's we got 5:18 to play. It, time should be down in the scoreboard section. Out top with it. Shelby Valley working it around against that 2-3 zone. And we got a timeout called by Shelby Valley. 5.02 to play here in the first half, 23-12. Belfry with the lead, and it is a – how long of a timeout we got here? Full timeout. We'll be right back. This is Intermountain Sports Network. When you add up all the Wi-Fi connected devices in your home these days, you'll be surprised how many there are and how much bandwidth they're using. Do the math. It just may add up to needing faster internet and Wi-Fi. Good thing Gearheart Broadband has reliable download speeds up to one gig and Plume Adaptive Home Wi-Fi to keep all your devices well connected. If you're ready for an upgrade, call or visit Gearheart Broadband online for a great offer. We live in a modern, connected world. Your smart home security system should keep pace with your on-the-go life, giving you a view of your home and the ability to control what happens at your front door as if you were there. The best deterrent, peace of mind, at home or away. Protect what's important to you. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. And we're back at Shelby Valley, 502 left first half. It's 23-12. Belfry over Shelby Valley. Shelby Valley will have it out of the timeout. And it'll be Shelby Valley working with it out top. And but, I, that's now you know looks like that's a 1-3-1 again. Oh no. Maybe a matchup here, Larry. Man to man, even. I think it's uh, it's like a one three one matchup because the man, you know, on a true one three one, you got one man three on the corner. Good out there by Osborne. Twenty three fifteen. Now, Belfry with the lead. What well, nice move that time by Clark, but he missed the shot. Rebound comes off to Pilata. Warwick's looking. Take it in the lane, kicks it outside. Robinson for three. No. Robinson goes in, gets his own rebound, gives it up inside to Pilata. There's Warwick's little mid range jumper's good. 23 to 17 now, six point game. That's Warwick's first points of the night, Charlie. Yep. <clears throat> he come in as their leading scorer, 17 a game. Belfry with it on the other end, Chaffins. They work it around. Shelby Valley coming out, extending their 2 3 zone. There's a three by Chaffins, is no good. And rebound comes off in a dunk by the big man. He made that look too easy, didn't he? He did. That's his first points of the night. There's a Warwick's on the drive, and he's going to be fouled. Let's see. Be the number 11. That's Chafin. That's his second. Is that going to be a shooting fit? Yep. It's going to be the one and one, so it'll be out of bounds to Shelby Valley. And Valley trying to get it inbounds. They'll throw it in. And Pallotta on the drive takes it right at him, and you, <clears throat> nothing you can do with that. No. That's all you do is challenge him. And yeah. Hope you get a foul call. And they work it inside. Chaffin's in the lane. Shot up no good. Gets his own rebound. He'll kick it back out. And Belfry with it out front now. 
And they're going to get uh, Lovins for the push. Yes, push in the back. That's going to be his second team's field. That's a battle down inside. Lovins, Lovins is trying hard. They'll throw it over top. Kick it into the corner, working it. Shelby Valley still in the 2-3 zone. We've got a charging foul. Got a push off. Kier. Bo Kier, that's his second. Lovins bodding him up a little bit, and he was trying to get him off of him. They both bodying up pretty hard, I will say that. And that, he, you got to slow that down or it could get out of hand. I agree. Shelby Valley on the other end, three by Osborne, no. Rebound comes off to Belfry, and they'll push it up the floor. Go inside to Cure, and he loses it out of bounds. Yes. <laughs> Five turnovers now for Belfry, 6-4 Chevy Valley. 25-17. Belfry, we got 2-10 to play here in the first half. Bel Belfry staying in that zone. Pallotta wants to drive. We're going to get a turnover. So he palmed it. Yes. And it'll be Belfry bringing it back up the floor. Two and minutes. That, that gets that last foul. Charlie got the big man, uh, Cure, 7-3, sitting on the bench. Yep. Belfry pushing their offense out on the floor pretty good here. 2 3 zone by Chevy Valley. There's a three on its way by Clark. No good. And Pilato with, no, uh, that's. Yeah, that's, that's Pilato. Pilato, yeah. Great rebound. Going inside Lovins, and he pumps, puts it up. No, but he'll go to the line. And who they're going to get? I believe that's going to be McNamee. Number 12, McNamee, his first team sixth. <laughs> Lovins shooting a pair. First one is no good. Chaz Brown will check in for Pilata now for Shelby Valley. Loving second free throw is good. Boy took a trip, but fell through. Went in, said, came back out, said, I think I'll go back in. 25-18, one twenty-five left, first half. Belfry with the lead and the basketball. 2-3 zone by Shelby Valley. There's a little nice jump stop in the lane. No good in there by Dean, and we're going to get a foul. And that's going to go on the big man, Savage. His first, and that's seven team foul, so it'll be the one-on-one. So who will that send to the line? Looks like Chaz Brown's walking I, to the I line. I think Lovins, he's one to come oh, off Lovins. the rebound. Well, no. Nope. I guess he kicked it out to Brown, and then they uh, called the foul on him. So Chaz Brown at the line shooting one and one for Shelby Valley. 25-18 game, seven-point lead for the Pirates. Free throws no good, and rebound comes off to Belfry. Minute 10 to play here in the half. 2-3 zone, Chevy Valley. And Belfry spreading it out. Take it into the lane. They'll, again, Bel Shelby Valley doing a good job extending their defense out, too. Yes. And they'll start it, back it out, start all over again. This time with Clark. They may hold for one now. Well, with the big man on the bench, Charlie, they can extend their defense. Don't have to worry about them throwing that pass down the inside. You're right. I tell you, he, he's something you got you got to look into. Yeah, it's a completely different game when he's yeah. not in there. Out front, Clark just dribbling around. Chevy Valley content to let him run the clock down here. Sure, they're going to try to get one shot. Maje Clark out front with it. 2-3 zone by the Wildcats. And now they'll put it in play. Belfry working it around, trying to get a look here. There's the elbow jumper floater. Good in there by Sal Dean. Two seconds left. Three on its way. No by Caden Robinson. Into the first half, it's 27-18. 
Belfry over Shelby Valley. We'll be right back. This is Intermountain Sports Network. Are you tired of the same old cell phone? Want a brand new phone but really don't want to pay hundreds of dollars up front for it? Then Appalachian Wireless has the deal for you. Get the phone you actually want instead of settling for a cheaper phone with the Appalachian Advantage plan. Instead of paying $400 or more for the best phone, simply pay the taxes up front and a few bucks more on your monthly bill. Stop by your local Appalachian Wireless store or dealer today for more information. It's the better, simpler way to pay. And it's called the Appalachian Advantage. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. We live in a modern, connected world. Your smart home security system should keep pace with your on-the-go life, giving you a view of your home and the ability to control what happens at your front door as if you were there. The best deterrent, peace of mind, at home or away. Protect what's important to you. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. When you add up all the Wi-Fi connected devices in your home these days, you'll be surprised how many there are and how much bandwidth they're using. Do the math. It just may add up to needing faster internet and Wi-Fi. Good thing Gearheart Broadband has reliable download speeds up to one gig and Plume Adaptive Home Wi-Fi to keep all your devices well connected. If you're ready for an upgrade, call or visit Gearheart Broadband online for a great offer. More than ever, we're all living online right now. It's one more reason using online account management from Gearheart Communications just makes sense. Visit ecare.gearheart.com to sign up so you can pay your bill, review your statements, or set up worry-free automatic payments, all without leaving your home. Make life a little easier. Online account management from Gearheart Broadband. Sign up today at ecare.gearheart.com. A satellite signal comes from outer space. The satellite office across the country and their call center? Hmm, we'd better not even go there. So if you want to do business in your hometown with people you know and trust, call cable. Gearheart Broadband is locally owned and operated. Our number one concern is giving you, your neighbors, and your community friendly local customer support. Get everything you want. Go local. Go Gearheart Broadband. With families spending more time at home together this year, it's a great time to level up your internet for the speed and Wi-Fi you need to power game consoles and computers at peak performance. Call or click Gearheart Broadband to upgrade. I'm Attorney John Earl Hunt. I believe in the U.S. Constitution and I support the American flag. I'm a country lawyer. I'd be honored to represent you in your case. I'll treat you right. I'll do the best I can to help you. Would you rather pay $650 or $66 for a smartphone? Simple. With the Appalachian Advantage plan, pay less up front and then just a few dollars more every month. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. Would you rather pay $650 or $66 for a smartphone? Simple. With the Appalachian Advantage plan, pay less up front and then just a few dollars more every month. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. More than ever, we're all living online right now. It's one more reason using online account management from Gearheart Communications just makes sense. Visit ecare.gearheart.com to sign up so you can pay your bill, review your statements, or set up worry-free automatic payments, all without leaving your home. Make life a little easier. Online account management from Gearheart Broadband. Sign up today at ecare.gearheart.com. We live in a modern, connected world. Your smart home security system should keep pace with your on-the-go life, giving you a view of your home and the ability to control what happens at your front door as if you were there. The best deterrent, peace of mind, at home or away. Protect what's important to you. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. Welcome back to Shelby Valley High School, 27-18 right now. Belfry with the nine-point lead. We're here at the half, and Larry's got some numbers for us. And we'll go over Shelby Valley first, Charlie. They were led in scoring by Caden Robinson with seven points. Had three points each for Zach Johnson, Russ Osborne, 
and Caleb Lovins, Lovins, and uh, two points for uh, Ken Warwick's. And Warwick's come in averaging 17 and a half points a game, Charlie. He was their leading scorer coming in. They're one of three from the foul line, and they have hit three three-pointers. Robinson hit a three-pointer to start the game. Zach Johnson's got one. Russ Osborne has one. Rebounding-wise, Shelby Valley seven rebounds, one offensive rebounds, and they turned it over seven times. For Belfry, they were led in scoring by Saldine with nine points, eight points for Tyler Chafin, four points for Caleb Spears, and two points each for Demaj Clark, uh, Bo Cure, and also Ben McNamee for a total of 27 points. Belfry three of five from the foul line, and they hit two three-pointers, both of those by Tyler Chafin in the first quarter. Dominating the boards, the Pirates are. They uh, 17 to seven, and out of their 17 rebounds, they had five offensive rebounds. Belfry's turned it over five times also. Foul trouble, Belfry's uh, Chafin and Cure has two each. And two players for Shelby Valley, Ken Warwick's and Caleb Lovins with two fouls. So 27-18 at the half, Belfry with the lead. And we'll send it back to the station and be back shortly for the start of the night's second half. This is your Inner Mountain Sports Network. With families spending more time at home together this year, it's a great time to level up your internet for the speed and Wi-Fi you need to power game consoles and computers at peak performance. Call or click Gearheart Broadband to upgrade. A satellite signal comes from outer space. The satellite office across the country and their call center? Hmm, we'd better not even go there. So if you want to do business in your hometown with people you know and trust, call cable. Gearheart Broadband is locally owned and operated. Our number one concern is giving you, your neighbors, and your community friendly local customer support. Get everything you want. Go local. Go Gearheart Broadband. Are you tired of the same old cell phone? Want a brand new phone but really don't want to pay hundreds of dollars up front for it? Then Appalachian Wireless has the deal for you. Get the phone you actually want instead of settling for a cheaper phone with the Appalachian Advantage plan. Instead of paying $400 or more for the best phone, simply pay the taxes up front and a few bucks more on your monthly bill. Stop by your local Appalachian Wireless store or dealer today for more information. It's the better, simpler way to pay. And it's called the Appalachian Advantage. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. When you add up all the Wi-Fi connected devices in your home these days, you'll be surprised how many there are and how much bandwidth they're using. Do the math. It just may add up to needing faster internet and Wi-Fi. Good thing Gearheart Broadband has reliable download speeds up to one gig and Plume Adaptive Home Wi-Fi to keep all your devices well connected. If you're ready for an upgrade, call or visit Gearheart Broadband online for a great offer. More than ever, we're all living online right now. It's one more reason using online account management from Gearheart Communications just makes sense. Visit ecare.gearheart.com to sign up so you can pay your bill, review your statements, or set up worry-free automatic payments, all without leaving your home. Make life a little easier. Online account management from Gearheart Broadband. Sign up today at ecare.gearheart.com. Would you rather pay $650 or $66 for a smartphone? Simple. With the Appalachian Advantage plan, pay less up front and then just a few dollars more every month. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. We live in a modern, connected world. Your smart home security system should keep pace with your on-the-go life, giving you a view of your home and the ability to control what happens at your front door as if you were there. The best deterrent, peace of mind, at home or away. Protect what's important to you. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. I'm Attorney John Earl Hunt. I believe in the U.S. Constitution and I support the American flag. I'm a country lawyer. I'd be honored to represent you in your case. I'll treat you right. I'll do the best I can to help you. And we're back at Shelby Valley at the half, 27-18, Belfry over Shelby Valley. 
And both teams, Charlie, started out pretty hot in the first uh, quarter. Uh, of course, Shelby Valley put 10 up and Belfry 18. Belfry only got nine in that second quarter and Shelby Valley eight, so wasn't able to actually cut into the lead, but they stayed close. Yeah, they're still, you know, we talked about that half. They're still in it. A couple threes and a couple stops they can get in. Of course, now Belfry can pull away at any minute, too, though. Uh, you're right. Uh, and, uh, of course, they uh, both here uh, with uh, two fouls, the big man in the middle, he came in averaging 13.8 points a game. I only got two points, but on the other hand, Ken Warwick's uh, leading scorer for Shelby Valley coming in tonight's game at 17 half points game. He only got two points. So, uh, you know, uh, he's got to pick his game up a little bit. Yeah, exactly right. I mean, you know, he's a he's a key to this uh, Shelby Valley team. It, it, as they see, he's the he's the spoon that stirs the drink or yes. motor that makes the engine run, all that good stuff. You're exactly right. Uh, so we'll see what kind of adjustments the coaches make at half. Looks like Shelby Valley's going to have it starting at half, Charlie. Shelby Valley, good opportunity for them. They can score here early. And again, 2-3 zone by the Pirates. And Shelby Valley working it around, trying to get a look. Now they fired in the corner there. Nice drive this time by, well, kicks it out to Lovins. Lovins lays it in. Nice job by Ken Warts. Well, you know, Lovins came in off the bench there and made a difference for him in that second quarter, helped him out he in the middle. Yep. And he's got to start here in the second half. It's 27-20 now. Belfry with the lead. And Belfry trying to find their uh, what they want here. Get back out top to Dean. Drives in the lane, puts a shot up, no good. Gets his own rebound, puts it back up, no good. This time, rebound comes off to Brown. Driving in, little Euro step shot, no good. Fight for the rebound again. This time, it'll be Belfry coming out of it. Clark going to take it right to the basket. Little shot up, no good. Put back up by Belfry, no good. I think that was uh, Lovins with the rebound. Three, Brown. Nope. Rebound. Fought four, and it'll be pulled out of there by Spears for Belfry. And he's getting a little physical down low, Charlie. Yes, it is. Trying to rough the big man up a little bit. Well, Belfry with it on the other end. Trying to get it down low. Chaffins has his pocket picked, and here comes Bill Kelby Valley back the other way. Brown shot up no good. Rebound Pilata, and he'll kick it back out, and it's going to be a walk. On yeah. Robinson. Yeah, Robinson wasn't expecting to get that pass, I don't think, and shuffled his feet. First turnover. A lot of action right here in the third quarter. Yes. 29-20, Belfry still leading by nine. 6.08 to play here in the third quarter. Clark. They're looking for, trying to go down inside to get it into the big man. And he goes up. Shot is good and one. Lovins. Pilata. No, Pilata. That's his first. Team's first. He said he hit him in the head. I don't believe it. <laughs> I know what you're saying. Shot up, no good. Rebound comes off in there to Lovins. 31-20 now, Belfry with the lead. Shelby Valley with it out front. 2-3 zone by the Pirates. Man, look. Shelby Valley really struggling to get the ball in the paint, Larry. Yes, they are. And get it back to Lovins. There's Chaz Brown, jumper in the paint, in the lane, no good. Rebound comes off in there to Cure. Quickly back the other way is Belfry. And we're going to foul on maybe on. No, oh. Nope. I thought he walked before they made that call, so I guess that's. They finally got caught up. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? You did that jump step and then took jump stop and then took a step. That's a walk, isn't it? It is. And Shelby Valley trying to drive with it and he'll back it back out. Three. Good this time by Kean Warts. Maybe that'll get him started now. Five points for Kean. 31-23 now, Belfry. 4.55 to play here in the third quarter. 
Again, that 2-3 zone. They're going to try to go inside. Cure. Boy, nice little reverse move by the big man, but he misses the shot. Rebound comes off to Pilata. He'll get it up quickly to Robinson. He drives, has it blocked, and put back up and in by Lovins. Lovins with the offensive rebound. Big man ran the floor well that time for Bill. He did. On the offensive end, Charlie, why do you try a reverse layup when you're saving three? I don't know. Go up, dunk it. Go to the bucket. Three, Dean, no good. Rebound comes off in there this time to Lovins. Into the front court, Shelby Valley, 31-25 now. Lovins earning some more playing time, isn't he? Yes, he is. Three uh, straight away, good by two, Kean Warts. Two in a row. Timeout, Belfry, 31-28 lead now for the Pirates, 4.02 to play here in the third quarter. And it is a 30-second timeout, so we'll stay right here. And let's see. Somewhere in there. Chevy Valley has outscored uh, Belfry 10-4 to four here in this quarter and cut the lead to three. I want to remind everyone tonight's game brought to you by Community Trust Bank. Bruce Walters, Ford, Kia, Attorney John Earl Hunt, Overhead Door of Eastern Kentucky, Big Sandy React, Gearheart Security, Appalachian Wireless, Hutch Chevrolet, Intermountain Cable, and Coalfields Telephone. And we're about ready to go back to action here. As Shelby Valley made it made a big dent in that lead. Let's see what Belfry adjustments uh, Coach Mark Thompson made on the bench just now. Well, they've also made adjustment down and uh, hitting the boards a little heavier. They only had seven rebounds the first half. They've got seven here in the quarter already. Wow. Out front, Clark. He was looking for that three, wasn't he? Yes. They're working it around. Shelby Valley again extending that offense. Well, three out of the corner, no good. Rebound. Goes out of bounds, it'll be off of Shelby Valley. Yep. Savage had it, and some, uh, one of the Valley players knocked it out of his hands. So they throw it in to Savage, and we're going to get a foul. Just muscled it up and yep. in. No, they're going to say on the on floor, the floor no yeah. bucket. Pilata. That's going to be his second, team second. Belfry tried to get, well, get it inbounds under their own basket. Clark gets rid of it. Clark brings back out top. 2-3 zone again by Shelby Valley. Little cross court looking. Well, nice pass inside. Turnaround shot up and good by Sal Dean. Yeah, that was a beautiful pass. Bullet pass in there. Dean now with 11. And we'll have to have a timeout called by Shelby Valley, get the ball inbounds. Well, everybody just abandoned uh, Warwick's back in the back for, uh, court, didn't have nobody to throw it to. 33-28, Belfry with the lead. They'll keep it here. It's a 30-second timeout. And uh, Shelby Valley came, jumped in, got it back into the ball game. Larry got it down to 33-28, and then Belfry starts working it back inside to the big boy again. You're right. Uh, of course, uh, Warwick's uh, hit the two three-pointers, and then Lovins with two uh, two-point buckets. Scoring for Chevy Valley here in the quarter so far. Uh, Belfry, on the other hand, has three buckets, one each by Clark, uh, Dean, and uh, Cure. So, just like we said, Chevy Valley hanging around a little bit. And it'll be Chevy Valley basketball. Valley's turned it over one time in the quarter so far. Belfry's two. Belfry hasn't been whistled for a foul. Chevy Valley's had two called on them. I think Chevy Valley's turned up the aggressiveness a little bit here in this third quarter. Uh, yeah, they have. Yeah. And Kean Warks going to drive it in the lane. Shot up and good. Well, the big man's not in there, Charlie, so that lane could be open right now. And Dean will bring it into the front court now for Belfry. What well, beautiful pass right there. Turn around in there by Chaffin's good. Well, that was a uh, return to sender, wasn't it? Because Chaffin gave uh, Dean the pass the last time down, yep. and Dean returned the favor. Out top again, Warwick's. And they try to go inside, tip back out. Warwick's goes and gets it, though. Three out of the corner, Caden Robinson, no good. 
And loose ball in there. We're going to have a jump ball called, I believe. And it's going to go to Belfry. Lovins again in there battling. So we've got 2.23 left here in the third quarter, and we're going to see uh, Osborne check in now for Brown. 35-30, 2.23 left third quarter. This one looks like it could be going down to the wire, Charlie. It, yeah, maybe. You're exactly right. Try to go inside. Savage kicks it into the corner. That one was blocked. Partial blocked. You're right. Robinson making a good closeout. Yep. Works with it out mid court. Well, just inside the Shelby Valley sign there. He'll back it out and restart the offense here again. Go back out to Works. Shelby Valley being very patient this trip down. Three in there by Robinson. No good. And tipped back out by Lovins. There's a three on its way. Good. Went in and out and back in. And Warwick Key with Warwick. 11 points in the quarter, Charlie. Back on track for his average now, isn't he? Yes, he is. 35-33, the three-pointer makes a difference. Got 13 points on, in the game right now. Kick it outside the Dean. Runner in the lane, blocked again. And Lovins with this one put back up and in. McNamee. McNamee, yep. Offensive rebound put back. And they're going to try a baseball pass and throws it away. Chaffins takes it down in the and he's into a collision with Russ Austin. Austin. Yep. Russ might have thought he's out there on the football field. Yeah. That's his first team's third. Belfry has not been whistled for a foul here in the quarter. And 104 left here. Step back three is short. Rebound in there by Pallada on the miss by Clark. We're in the corner. Osborne puts it on the floor. Deep three. Heat check. Yep, and rebound in there by Pallada. Back out to Warwick. He's not afraid to put it up again. This one no good, too. And that's going to be a foul on McNamee. Yes. That's going to be his second first team foul. Shelby Valley ball on the baseline. Shelby Valley one offensive rebound in the first half, Charlie. They've got five here in the quarter, so they're crashing the boards a little harder. Robinson driving into the lane. He'll kick it out. Shelby Valley trying to play off the bounce here. 30 seconds. They might pull out and take the last shot now. It looks like that's what they're going to do. Ken Warwick standing out there with the ball on his hip. 17 seconds left here in the third. Warwick's. There's the three. Osborne good, and it's 37-36, a one-point ball game, 3.9 seconds. Saldine blocked, and a foul on Lovins. And it'll be two shots coming. And that's Lovin's third for Shelby Valley. Three shots. That's right. It was three-pointer. Free throw's good. He's got two more coming. Could give Belfry a four-point lead. Well, not. Could be a three-point lead. Well, Dean right now is only two of five from the foul line. And nope, missed, missed, missed the last two. Two out of three. 38-36. Belfry will be right back. This is Intermountain Sports Network. More than ever, we're all living online right now. It's one more reason using online account management from Gearheart Communications just makes sense. Visit ecare.gearheart.com to sign up so you can pay your bill, review your statements, or set up worry-free automatic payments, all without leaving your home. Make life a little easier. Online account management from Gearheart Broadband. Sign up today at ecare.gearheart.com. A satellite signal comes from outer space. The satellite office across the country. And their call center? Hmm, we'd better not even go there. 
So if you want to do business in your hometown with people you know and trust, call Cable. Gearheart Broadband is locally owned and operated. Our number one concern is giving you, your neighbors, and your community friendly, local customer support. Get everything you want. Go local. Go With it in the front court now for Chevy Valley. Out top. 2-3 zone again by the Pirates. Works just dribbling around out front. Takes it in the lane. Hook shot up, no good. Ball knocked away. Three out of the corner. Robinson, no good. Rebound. Comes off in there to uh, Osborne, and Warwick's kicks it back out. Show Valley had a couple of looks there, but they've got two big rebounds, too. They did. Warwick's with it. They're looking down in the corner to Lovins. Shelby Valley working it around the outside. Belfry staying in that zone. Pallada. Throws it away. Clark going back down the floor with it. Takes it. Shot up. No good. Rebound Lovins. And throws it out of yep. bounds. Throws it off the official. He is part of the he floor. He's part of the floor. He almost fell with the ball and became part of the floor, literally. Yep. Shelby. Defense. Shelby Valley in a 2 3. Belfry out front getting ready to work against it. They've got the big man in the middle. Chevy Valley in a 2-3 zone or a 2-1-2. Two, two. I think it's a, you know, maybe a 2-3. Two, two, well, maybe they switched out to a man-to-man -man now. Well, maybe it's a box and chaser with, on the big guy, too. Lovins really uh, bodied him up a lot, didn't he? It's, it's, it's getting physical down in there. Officials is watching. He's hollering at him, telling him to clean it up. And Belfry working around. There's a three by Dean. No. And rebound comes off to Chaffins. Chaffins drives in the lane. Shot up. And the officials trying to decide what call we got here. What's it going to be? It'll be a block. Block on Pilata. Could have went either way. I think both officials may have had a different call. You And, well, the one referred to the other, so... That's going to be six or uh, five team fouls on Chevy Valley and three on three Pilata. Three on Pilata, yeah. And they're saying no shot. So it would be Belfry's basketball under their own bucket. They lead by two, 38-36. And we're about to get this one settled down here. And it'll be... They get it in the corner, three on its way. Good over there by that Chaffin. Chaffin, yep. that's his third three-pointer. He's got 13 points. Hey, Come in got? tonight averaging 14, so he's almost on his average. He's got a smooth-looking jump shot He now. does. Warwick loses it, and Clark goes the other way, lays it in. Timeout, Shelby Valley, 43-36. Belfry with the lead, 5.48 to play here in the ballgame. And let's see what we got. And it's full, full timeout. Time out. We'll take a break. This is Intermountain Sports Network. Would you rather pay $650 or $66 for a smartphone? Simple. With the Appalachian Advantage plan, pay less up front and then just a few dollars more every month. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. We live in a modern, connected world. Your smart home security system should keep pace with your on-the-go life, giving you a view of your home and the ability to control what happens at your front door as if you were there. The best deterrent, peace of mind, at home or away. Protect what's important to you. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. I'm Attorney John Earl Hunt. I believe in the U.S. Constitution, and I support the American flag. I'm a country lawyer. I'd be honored to represent you in your case. I'll treat you right. I'll do the best I can to help you. 548 left in the ball game. Belfry 43-36 over Chevy Valley as Charlie Belfry's come out here in this fourth quarter and has outscored him 5-0 right now. Belfry's turned it over two times already in the quarter. 
makes them 11 for the ball game. Shelby Valley have the basketball belt with a little bit of full court pressure out of the guards. 2-2-1 two, two, pressure here. Ian Warwick's bringing it up the floor. He'll bring it all the way into the front court himself. And they're going to work it around. Shelby Valley out front. And it looks like if they go back, they go to a man-to-man -man now, Belfry has. I think so, yes. And nice drive and basket by Caden Robinson. Over top of the big man. 43-38. Belfry with the lead. 5-15 to play in the contest. Belfry working it around that 2-3 uh, zone by Shelby Valley. Clark kicks it back out top. Belfry in no hurry, Larry. The clock's on their side. Yeah, Chafin down in the corner uh, uh, was calling for it. He's hit a three from there. Clark splits two defenders, has it blocked in there. Gets his own rebound. Gets it up, no good. Rebound comes off in there to Robinson. Robinson's gonna take it all the way down the floor and it's gonna be a block on Spears. Caleb Spears, that's his first. Second team foul for Belfry. So Robinson at the free throw line to shoot two. Rolls the first one in. And that puts him in double figures with 10. Got one more here. It's a three-point ball game. 43-40 with 4.44 to go. Dean will bring it up the floor now for the Pirates. Shelby Valley sits up in the 2-3 zone. See, Lovins has had his work cut out for him tonight with the big man, hasn't he? He has. And they go inside, Chaffins. And he walked before the foul. Third turnover for Belfry here in this second half. Eight for the ball game. Belfry coming back with the 2-2-1 pressure again. Osborne will bring it into the front court. Lovins, get it back out top. Nice little mid-range jumper up by Caden Robinson, no good. Tipped out, and it'll be picked up by Shelby Valley. Four, oh, four minutes now to go in the ball game. There's a three on its way, in and out. And nice rebound in there by Belfry, and ball being tripped around. And, and one. Yep, going to get it. And, and that's going to go on number three, Warwick's. And that's going to be six team fouls. Of course, Dean will be at the line trying to complete the and one. 45-50. Belfry with the lead, 3.52 to play. Dean with eight points so far tonight. That is Clark flying. Uh, that was Clark with the basket and the free throw. Okay. Saldine. That's his first, third, third team foul. Ken Warks now bring it up the floor, 45-40. Quickly back the other way, Lovins gives it up. Warks thought about it. Robinson, he'll take the three and it's no good. And Sal Dean goes in and gets the rebound. Yes, the he threes. does. 3.25 to play here in the ball game, 45-50. Belfry with the lead. And the next foul by Shelby Valley will put him into the bonus. And Shelby Valley comes out with it. And Osborne gets fouled going to the basket by Sal Dean. And that's Dean's second, team's fourth. Shelby Valley tonight, Charlie, is three of five from the foul line. Osborne will have two shots, 45-40 lead for Belfry. Free throw's good. Our old buddy Gary Keithley, former coach watching tonight. Appreciate you looking in on us, Gary. 3-12 to go here in the ball game. Osborne can close it down a little bit and misses the second free throw. Rebound, 
Tip by Saldine out of bounds. Yes. 45-41. Belfry with the lead. 3-10 to go. Shelby Valley basketball. Back out front. See what Warwick's will do with it here. Shelby Valley got to get, they need a good look if they want to try to get, get, a, get closer here. Working it out top at 2-3 zone, extended way out there. They'll come out and get you if you're dribbling the ball too, don't they? Yeah, Belfry just content to let them take time off the clock right now. They have the four-point lead, so. Warwick wants to drive in the lane, takes it in, and he's going to be fouled. And it looks like Caleb Spears, I think, isn't it? Yeah, number yep. 10. That's his second. Five team fouls now for Belfry. And Mark Thompson doesn't want this. He doesn't want them a chance to score points with no time coming off that clock, does he? No. 45-42 as he makes the first one. 237 left. Second one up and no good, but rebound comes off to Cure. Three-point game, 45-42, 232 to go. Dean will bring it into the front court now for Belfry. And they're looking, working it in. Belford, like I say, no hurry. Well, they, they don't, they've got the three-point lead in the basketball and, and Chevy Valley with 16 fouls, so the next one will put Belfry at the line for the one-on-one. -on -one. You're right. And looks like that's what they're going to try to do is try to force Chevy Valley to come out and foul them. Driving down inside, Savage. Chevy Valley's going to man to man now. Yep, and Belfry working it around out front. Savage, nice. Hey, we got a timeout called by Belfry. It's going to be a 30 second timeout, looks like. Our old buddy Gary Justice looking in on us. 146 left here in the game. It's 45 42. Belfry with the lead, and they'll have the basketball coming out of the timeout, Charlie. Yep. Belfry's uh, got, uh, looks like, seven points scored here in the quarter. Uh, got a three by Chaffins and then Clark with two two-point buckets on Shelby Valley's side. They've only hit one field goal. That was Caden Robinson with the two-point. But they've been to the line six times and made four. So uh, they've scored six points, four of those coming from the foul line. You know, Belfry may hold the ball more here, Larry. Minute 46 left. For Shelby Valley to put them on the free throw line. And we don't know how the timeout situation is. They don't have it on the scoreboard. I think both of them have at least one full timeout left, I think. Yeah, one or two. They might have a couple because both teams is called two or three timeouts, yeah. and you get five for the game. So I think both of them have called a uh, 30 in this half. And Shelby Valley coming out in a trap. Try to go down inside, knocking out of bounds down there is Robinson. And he, if he hadn't got a fingertip on that one, that was going to be a throw down by the big man, yep. Bo Keir. You're right. So it'll be Belfry basketball under the basket. They get it out, working it again out to the top. Got Dayton, Ohio looking in on us. And Belfry, exactly what I thought they might do. Larry trying to hold on to it, making them foul them. Yeah, and there's Warwick's going to foul, and that's going to be four on Warwick's, Charlie. And they're going to put uh, Cure, I mean, uh, lost my mind there. He'll put. That's uh, uh, Clark, Clark, isn't it? Yeah. And he is two of three from the foul line. This will be the one of one. Belfry makes their free throws. They can. Keep yep. the lead, maybe pull this one out, but Bell, uh, Shelby Valley hoping that they can't knock them down. Well, he misses the front end of the one and one. Ian Warwick will get it up the floor quickly. Brown open for three. It's good. And it's a tie ball game, 45-45. A minute, 10 to play. We got a barn burner now. And that's the first bucket for Chaz Brown tonight. <coughs> In the front court now, Belfry with it. Belfry could still hold it, Charlie, and take it down to the yep. last shot. Go You've got to tie go win, yeah. Yes. 
and we're going to get a foul on Brown. And again, that'll put Clark on the free throw line. One and one. See what happens here. Oxford, Ohio watching Charlie London, Kentucky, Dayton, Ohio. We've got them all over. Yep. Free throw on its way. It's good. Well, you looked good on that one, didn't you? Yep. Gives his team one point lead. Second shot coming up here. 53 seconds, all that's left. Second free throw is, nope, nope, lane or timeout called by, huh? Nope, guess he called lane violation. Lane violation? Oh, okay, I thought he pointed to the bench. He did point toward the bench. So one point lead, 45 seconds left, Charlie. And Shell Valley gonna play for the win here, Larry? Said earlier he's coming down to the wire, didn't he? Yeah, it? we did. So a two point basket will win it if they hold on to it till time runs out. And shot up, good by Caden Robinson, right at the big man. Over the big man, I think he even got a piece of that one, Charlie. Time out on the floor. It's a full timeout, 47-46, Chevy Valley, 22.1 left. It's the Intermountain Sports Network. With families spending more time at home together this year, it's a great time to level up your internet for the speed and Wi-Fi you need to power game consoles and computers at peak performance. Call or click Gearheart Broadband to upgrade. Would you rather pay $650 or $66 for a smartphone? Simple. With the Appalachian Advantage plan, pay less up front and then just a few dollars more every month. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. More than ever, we're all living online right now. It's one more reason using online account management from Gearheart Communications just makes sense. Visit ecare.gearheart.com to sign up so you can pay your bill, review your statements, or set up worry-free automatic payments, all without leaving your home. Make life a little easier. Online account management from Gearheart Broadband. Sign up today at ecare.gearheart.com. And we're back at Shelby Valley, 47-46. Shelby Valley with their first lead of the night. Besides oh, the second, first yeah, shot, third, first they, they went right. up three nothing on the first shot. They've trailed ever since. 22 seconds left. Belfry will have it side out in the front court. Belfry will bring it inbound. Shelby Valley in that two three zone. Looking inside. Let's see what the play is going to be here. And ball's tipped away. Shelby Valley has it. They'll get it up to Warks. And Warks will lay it in to give Shelby Valley a three-point lead with 6.4 seconds. Boy, what a time for a turnover. Bad time. What a ball game we've ended up having. So it is a... We'll just keep it right here no matter what it is. I don't know if it's a full timeout or a 30. I never really got a good signal. Well, I, I think it's a full timeout, but just like I say, we'll stay right here and set the game. And like to let everyone know we've got a viewer looking in for Shelby Valley from Alaska. That's pretty long ways off. Shelby Valley with 18 fouls, so if they do foul, if it's not a shooting foul, be the one and one, you might look at that. Belfry trails by three. And Tyler Chafin has hit three three-pointers for Belfry. Them's the only three three-pointers that they've made tonight. So, you know, I, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure Shelby Valley probably knows that. What has Sal Dean done from the free throw line tonight, Larry? Sal Dean is, let's see, he's been there six times and made two. Might be an opportunity for you to give him, make, make him try to earn it from the line. Well, yeah, that's what I say. You know, you, you've got, if it's a, if they do fail, it's just going to be a, a one and one So, Coach Rodney Rowe of Shelby Valley, uh, he, he took a chance earlier on a tie game and uh, failed him, and it's worked to his benefit so far. And turnover, turnover. Belfry over and back. 
What happened, Charlie, was he threw it in on the baseline and Warwick tipped the ball and hit come back to the guy at Belfry that threw it in. He caught it before he established okay. the position, so that's a turnover Belfry. So 4.7 seconds left, it'll be Shelby Valley basketball. Well, you want, you want to keep it in the hands of your free throw shooters right here, Larry. It's a nice, simple thing. To th it's just yes. what it is. Yes. Because you're going to try to hold the ball. You know, they, they got to foul. They don't have any choice. Yes, they got to foul. And and this is the thing about it, Charlie. They've got to get, uh, foul, foul two twice. times to put them at the line because they've only got five team fouls. You know, that, right. that's, that's an advantage sometimes, too. You do not have a lot of fouling, but it, when it gets down close game, when you need to foul somebody, it's a disadvantage to you. I mean, you got to try for the steal and immediately foul. Yes. Or, you know, I don't know, do you just get two quick fouls out of any time coming off the clock so you can put them on the line? Well, you can foul before they get the ball in. Still. Yeah, still. Coming back with it. Dean throws it up. No good. And he's going to be yeah. fouled. Oh, I thought they called the foul, but no. And that's it. 49-46, Shelby Valley. As that was a wild one right there as the Pirates head to the locker room, a three-point win. For the Wildcats, we'll take a break and be right back. This is Intermountain Sports Network. With families spending more time at home together this year, it's a great time to level up your internet for the speed and Wi-Fi you need to power game consoles and computers at peak performance. Call or click Gearheart Broadband to upgrade. A satellite signal comes from outer space. The satellite office across the country. And their call center? Hmm, we'd better not even go there. So if you want to do business in your hometown with people you know and trust, call Cable. Gearheart Broadband is locally owned and operated. Our number one concern is giving you, your neighbors, and your community friendly, local customer support. Get everything you want. Go local. Go Gearheart Broadband. We live in a modern, connected world. Your smart home security system should keep pace with your on-the-go life giving you a view of your home and the ability to control what happens at your front door as if you were there. The best deterrent, peace of mind, at home or away. Protect what's important to you. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. Are you tired of the same old cell phone? Want a brand new phone but really don't want to pay hundreds of dollars up front for it? Then Appalachian Wireless has the deal for you. Get the phone you actually want instead of settling for a cheaper phone with the Appalachian Advantage plan. Instead of paying $400 or more for the best phone, simply pay the taxes up front and a few bucks more on your monthly bill. Stop by your local Appalachian Wireless store or dealer today for more information. It's the better, simpler way to pay. And it's called the Appalachian Advantage. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. Welcome back to Shelby Valley High School, 49-46, the final, as the Wildcats win it in a wild one down the stretch, Larry. Yes, it got pretty uh, exciting there at the end, Charlie. So we'll go over some final scores. First four, Belfry, they were led in scoring by Tyler Chapin with 13 points. He had three three-pointers, the only three three-pointers that Belfry made tonight. Demar uh, J. Clark had nine points, 12 points for Sal Dean, and four points each for Bo Keir, Caleb Spears, and also Ben McNamee off the bench for a total of 46 points. Belfry was five of 13 from the foul line, so you can look at that as a, a part of the demise that they had that lead and uh, let it slip away from them, wasn't able to hit a couple or three of the uh, front ends of one one had, and like I said, they had the three three-pointers, all of those by Chapin. They won the rebounding battle 30 to 26, and out of those 30 rebounds, they had nine offensive rebounds. They turned the ball over 11 times, five first half, six in the second half. For Shelby Valley, they were led in scoring by Kean Warwick with 16, and 14 of those coming uh, in the second half. 13 points for Caden Robinson, seven points each for Russ Osborne off the bench, and also Caleb Lovin, seven points off the bench, and three points each, Zach Johnson and Chaz Brown, and Brown hit the big three-pointer in the fourth quarter that tied the game. Rebounding-wise, Shelby Valley, 26 rebounds, 10 offensive rebounds. 
they were five of nine from the foul line, so neither team was over 50% from the foul line. Shelby Valley hit eight three-pointers. They turned it over 12 times, seven in the first half and five in the second half, and Shelby Valley breaks the two-game losing streak. They'll improve now to five and two on the season, and Belfry will fall to four and three as Shelby Valley comes away with the three-point win, 49-46. So big win for the Wildcats. Uh, that'll wrap it up for us here from Shelby Valley for Eli back at the station, for Wayne Fugit on camera, for Alex on the controls here, and for my partner, Larry Cecil, this is Charlie Pinson. We'll see you next week on the Intermountain Sports Network. Thanks to the bucket up and in over the big man. Yeah. Ryan Rowe.